So for our second example, so let us find the tangent and the normal lines uh, in this curve. Okay, at we have a given point at negative two zero. So as you notice here, we have a an implicit function. Okay, so in finding the slope of the tangent line, so we just have to derive this uh, implicit function. Okay, and then solve for the y prime. Okay, so the y prime is the derivative, and that will correspond to the slope of our tangent line. Okay. So, since we are already given with the point, so once we have the slope of the tangent uh, line, then we can use the point-slope form of the uh, equation of the line okay, to solve for the equation you know, of the tangent. So, solution, so solve for the slope of the tangent line. Okay, so, that is the value of y prime at x is equal to negative 2 and y is equal to 0. Okay? So, all you need to do is derive this first. Okay? So, we have write, rewriting. So, x minus 3y squared plus uh, 8x plus 12 is equal to 0. So, derive the first term. So, we can derive this using the general power formula. So, bring down the exponent. So, 2 times we have x minus 3y. Okay, raised to uh, 2 minus 1. Multiplied by the derivative of uh, the expression inside okay, the parenthesis. So, we have uh, derivative of x with respect to x is 1 min minus 3 derivative of y with respect to y that is y prime okay plus uh, 8 multiplied by the derivative of x with respect to x that is 1 and then plus derivative of a constant 0 so is equal to 0 Okay, so the next is uh, solve for y prime. Okay, at uh, x is equal to negative 2 and y is equal to 0. So all we have to do is substitute x is equal to negative 2 and then y is equal to 0. So this will become 2 times x is negative 2 minus 3 times 0. Okay, multiplied by 1 minus 3y prime. Okay, so we can transpose now uh, 8. So remember, we are solving here for y prime. So transposing 8, so that will become negative 8. Okay, so simplifying this, so this will become 0. And then this will become uh, negative 4. Okay, so 2 times negative 2, so that is negative 4 times 1 minus 3y prime is equal to negative 8. Okay, so dividing both sides by negative 4. So therefore, we will have 1 minus 3y prime is equal to, this will now become um, positive 2. Okay, so I have... Uh, to uh, rewrite the equation, uh, the solution again because I committed a mistake. So uh, going back here, so we will uh, solve for y prime. So uh, transposing negative one on the other side, so it will become uh, negative three y prime. Okay, so is equal to uh, two minus one. Okay, so therefore our uh, negative three y prime is equal to one, and then div dividing both sides with negative three. So then, our y prime is equal to negative one third. Okay. So the negative one third now will, will correspond to the slope of the tangent line. So this is the slope of the tangent. Okay. So the slope of the normal line is uh, equal to 
the negative reciprocal of the slope of the tangent. So, that means it's equal to uh, negative 1 over negative 1 third. So, therefore, it's equal to positive 3. Okay? So, now to solve for the equation of the lines. Okay? So, to solve the equation of the lines, so uh, let us solve first the uh, tangent. Okay? So, for the tangent line, our slope is equal to negative 1 third. And our point is at, from the given, negative 2, 0. Okay, so therefore, um, using the point slope form, so y minus y1 is equal to m okay, times x minus x1. So substituting y is equal to 0 and x is equal to negative 2, m is equal to negative 1 third. So uh, y minus 0 is equal to negative 1 third times. Okay, so um, x is x minus x1 is negative 2. Okay, so therefore, uh, y is equal to negative 1 over 3 times x plus 2. Okay, so dividing both sides with negative 1 third or we can mul cross multiply um, the denominator 3 okay, over there and we can also include the negative multiplying negative 3 on the other side so it will become negative 3y is equal to uh, x plus 2 okay and then transposing negative 3y on the other side so it will become uh, x plus 3y plus 2 okay is equal to 0 or uh, x plus 3y plus 2 is equal to 0 So, that is the equation of the tangent. So, on the other hand, for the normal, so with the slope of, uh, slope of 3, okay, at point, the same point, negative 2 and 0. So, same with what we did here. So, using the um, point slope form, so we will have y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1 so uh, y minus 0 is equal to slope of 3 times x okay so this should be bracket so x minus uh, negative 2 okay so Okay, so therefore, um, y is equal to 3 times x plus 2, distributing. So, we will have y is equal to uh, 3x plus 6. So, transposing y on the other side, so we will have 0 is equal to 3x minus y plus 6. Or, uh, 3x minus y plus 6 is equal to zero so that is now the equation of our normal okay so this is the tangent and then this is the normal line okay so for our third example so find the tangent to the cubic uh, y is equal to x cubed minus 2x plus 3 parallel to the line uh, 10x minus y is equal to 3. Okay? So, what we are looking for here is the uh, tangent. You know? So, the tangent, okay? We are looking for the tangent which is parallel to this line. Okay? So, if it is parallel to this line, so therefore, the tangent must have the same slope as this line. Okay? So, uh, with the given uh, equation of uh, the parallel line, okay, we will find the slope of uh, we will find the, find the slope of the line. Okay, so since they are parallel, the tangent and this line, okay, 
are parallel, then they must have the same slope. Okay? So, solve for the slope of the tangent. Okay? So, from 10x minus y is equal to 3. Okay? So, for us to be able to solve for the slope, so we will transform this into the slope intercept form. Okay? So, transform to, so this one, convert to slope intercept form. Okay? So, recall that the slope intercept form is y is equal to mx plus b. Okay? So, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. Okay? So, y, uh, b is y-intercept. Okay? So, all we need to do is uh, transform this into this form. Okay? So, to transform this, so we will have uh, 10x minus y is equal to 3. Then, the x should be on the right side. So, transpose uh, negative uh, 10x to the other side so it will become negative y is equal to so negative y is equal to uh, negative 10x okay plus 3 okay so with that uh, since we need a positive y then we divide or multiply both sides of the equation by negative 1. So, dividing by negative 1 or multiplying by negative 1. So, it's up to you. So, it's the same. So, y is equal to 10x minus minus 3. Okay? So, since from the slope intercept form, the coefficient of x corresponds to the slope and then the constant corresponds to the y intercept. Therefore, the slope here is 10. Okay? And since we are given that the tangent line is parallel to this line, okay? And parallel lines have the same slope, so therefore, so therefore, the slope of our tangent line is also 10. Okay? So we already have the slope, so our uh, what's missing is uh, our point. Okay? So, the next thing that we're gonna do is solve for the uh, point. So, solve for the point of tangent C. Okay. For the point of so, for the point of um, tangent C, so we will be needing since we already have the slope Okay, of the tangent line, and we know that the slope of the tangent line corresponds to the derivative. Okay, so the derivative of this curve right here. Okay, so since the slope of the tangent, okay, is equal to dy over dx no? at x1 and y1, then uh, getting the derivative of the curve, so y is equal to x cubed minus 2x plus 3. Okay. So, getting its derivative, so dy over dx is equal to, so this will become uh, 3x squared minus Okay, so since the derivative is equal to the slope, so then 10 is equal to 3x squared minus 2. So 3x squared minus 2. Okay, so we can now solve for... Um, we can now solve for we can now solve for x 
Okay. So let me just check the given. Mm. So to the cubic x cubed minus 2x plus 3 pala din. Okay. It's correct, I think. So, uh, transposing 2 on the other side. So we'll have uh, 10 plus 2 that will be uh, 12 is equal to Oh, sorry. So this should be transposed on the other side. So we have is equal to 0. So 3x squared minus 12. Okay. Or so factoring 3. So we'll have 3 times x squared minus 4. Okay. Is equal to 0. Okay. So dividing both sides by 3. Okay, so what will remain is uh, x squared minus 4 is equal to 0. Okay, and then factoring. So we'll have x plus 2 times x minus 2 is equal to 0. So equating each factors to 0. So we'll have x uh, plus 2 is equal to 0 and x minus 2 is equal to 0. So therefore, we have two points no, of tangency. So, one at x is equal to negative 2. And one at x is equal to positive 2. So, therefore, we will be obtaining um, two equations. No? So, two equations of uh, tangent lines. Okay, so one described by x is equal to negative 2. And the other is x is equal to positive 2. Okay, so solving each. So, let's um, solve uh, here. So, at x is equal to 2, uh, negative 2. So, we will solve uh, the ro first root that we have solved. So, at x is equal to negative 2, okay, we will solve for, also solve for y. So, y is equal to, so from this equation, so y is equal to uh, negative 2 cube minus 2 times negative 2. And then plus 3. Okay. So that is uh, negative 2 cube minus 2 times negative 2 plus 3. So y is equal to negative 1. Okay. So therefore, our point, our first point of tangency is uh, negative 2 for x and negative 1 for y. Okay. And we have the slope of the tangent, which is equal to, we solved earlier, that is equal to 10. So therefore, uh, using the point slope form, y minus y1 is equal to uh, m times x2 minus, oh sorry, x minus x1. Okay. So therefore, y minus, so y1 will have negative 1. So y minus negative 1 is equal to m is we have 10 times oops sorry so we should have used a bracket so uh, x is x minus x1 is negative 2 okay so therefore we will have uh, y plus 1 is equal to 10 times um, x plus 2 So distributing this, so we'll have y plus 1 is equal to uh, 10x plus 20. Okay, and then transposing y and negative 1 on the other side so that uh, the coefficient of x remains positive. So we will have 0 is equal to 10x minus y plus 20 minus 1. So, therefore, 10x minus y plus 19 is equal to 0. Okay, so this is the uh, first tangent line. Okay, so that is the first tangent line at point negative 2 and negative 1 and slope of 10. Okay, so the other one, so the other one, so we will... We can solve that by using the other uh, root that we have solved. x is equal to 
2. Okay, so at sorry, x is equal to 2, then y is equal to, so using again this, so where is that? So x cubed minus 2x plus 3 x cubed minus 2x plus 3 where x is equal to 2 then uh, it will become uh, 2 cubed minus 2 times 2 okay plus 3 so this will become 8 minus 4 plus 3 8 minus 4 plus 3 so that should be equal to 7 so if you want to make sure that your answer is correct so 2 cubed minus 2 times 2 plus 3 so that is yes 7 okay so the other point is uh, 2 and negative ah sorry 2 and positive 7 okay so still we have the same slope for the tangent which is equal to 10 okay so then uh, y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1 so y is uh, 7 y1 is equal to 7 is equal to uh, slope of 10 times x minus x1 is 2 so x minus 2 okay so this will become y minus 7 so distributing is equal to 10 x minus 20 Okay, so transposing y and negative 7 on the other side. So 0 is equal to 10x minus y minus 20. And then this will become plus 7. So therefore, 10x minus y minus um, 13 is equal to 0. Okay. So those are, are our two answers. Okay, so this one and this one.